bit more affluent on the scoreboard, getting a couple of tries in there. But Poland being that invitational team, it's a big ask for them to step up. Poland with a strip change and now playing in what? In Spain, playing in that gorgeous bright red. Good to see the supporters out here as well in Toulouse, and the sun has appeared now, Philippa. It has certainly appeared, but uh, don't be deceived. I've still got my jacket on. It's still brisk, but I'm sure the players are loving that. You know, it's a dry pitch, nice and bright, not too hot. Good for some running rugby. So you can see on the bottom of your screens, both teams in search of their very first win here in Toulouse. His third match on the series. Eleven. Good. Spain kicking off from a left to right. And the red Poland allow the ball to bounce, but Gilles Gala has the ball. Look left and right, they go to the right. Ball hits the deck though. Untidy stuff from Poland early on, and they've had that error throughout the whole weekend, not finding the connections. And just their third appearance on a World Series Sevens event. Trying to find a late cut there on the edge and barreling. And Poland into touch with Dominguez Sanchez. You'll see a lot of this from Spain. They want to act quickly, they like keeping the tempo high. They've had no problems in creating so far in this tournament. They know how to move players around. It's just finishing off. Handling errors have really let them down so far. Fernando Cores puts the ball into the line out, trying to free up the arm for the offload. Gets it away to Dominguez. They've got numbers to that left hand side. They just need to fire the ball. That's exactly what they do. Cover defense coming across from Cold Day. Tries to get it over the line, but it will be Spain who's draw first blood. Yeah, really good defense there from Kolde, Polish defender there. She had a massive overlap on her, but managed with her fitness and speed to still try and affect that last ditch tackle. You just see her at the corner of the screen. She still comes all the way across to try and make that tackle. But Ingrid Algar, she's been standout for them defensively as well as in attack. And she opens up the scoreboard. Algar picking up her third try of the weekend here in Toulouse. Conversion unsuccessful, so 5-0. Spain leave Poland. A nice high kickoff coming in from Spain. This time, Polish team able to take it cleanly, but the line speed and the driving tackle from Fernandez Cortes. They've won the ball back to have Spain. They go quickly to that left-hand side through Morales. Hanging out there on the edges. Alga once more, and she's going to get a double in a matter of seconds. Spain go bang, bang. That'll please the coaching management. That's exactly what you want. You gain a bit of momentum, a bit of dominance, and then straight from the kickoff, you're applying the pressure. Look, again, we see that quick tap. That's how they love to play. Keep that tempo high. Do not let the defense have chance to set. And look, you can see there's plenty of Polish players there. So you have players on their feet. They just weren't set. That's why they weren't able to defend that properly. Time off. 12. Time is off. Attempt at the conversion just away to the left. Had the distance on it, just not accurate. So 10-0 in this ninth place semi-final. Alga in her 20th tournament on the series here in Toulouse. Kick off this time a bit shorter from Spain. Doesn't get as much air time. So just Gala. His ball in hand running lateral at the moment. Poland looking for a late cut. Miscommunication between the two teams and again forcing an error. Uh, Spain through their line speed. Yeah, 
Poland only managing to get that single try so far in this tournament. It was a good one line against Canada. Crouch! We know they've got really good attacking prowess. They are the best of the rest. European champs, July 2022. That was the one off. It was over two legs. So they've got potential. It's just a real big step up onto the World Series for them. Spain really liking the looks of this left edge. Trying to get the hand of Olga. And just a little fumble, but play on from the referee. Ladies! Ball available once more for Spain. Just holding it up in the midfield was Dominguez. Fighting to stay on her feet as well. Poland, what can they do on defence? A right foot step coming in from the Spaniards. Once more, they look to go to the left. Alga feeds it to Peña. Youngest person here in Toulouse. She's 18 years old. Away from... <laughs> Conceding the penalty, though. Uh, Poland not rolling away. They'll go quickly. Well, Spain putting the kick ahead. This is a different tactic for Spain. And a thumping tackle coming in as well. <laughs> and followed by a second by Fernandez. This is good work from the Spanish team. A kick is only as good as its chase. So again, Poland camped inside their own 22, struggling to exit. They look to Pamieta. Sajluk, again, just going sideways. Uh, Poland, flicking her up in the tackle. A little bit of space now on this left edge. They've got a two-on-one overlap, and they couldn't connect, couldn't find the hands of Kolde, who has so much pace to unlock. Relentless defense for the Spaniards. Equally, Poland must be exhausted. Driven back over their own end goal. The strength of Rekena, and they'll get a five-meter scrum. Perfect attacking opportunity for Spain. Really good pressure there, like you say. You know, they're not the biggest team, but they are certainly showing their physicality in this. They're just limiting any options that Poland might have really flustering them and they're just forcing them to try and just hold on to the ball they're not thinking about attack they're just thinking about retention and with that they are going back and back and that is a testament to the physicality of the game right there well one thing both teams didn't have to contend with yesterday was the heat and energy sapping stuff at the moment too for poland driven backwards spain being very good on defense too Wait for it. It's good. Simon? Scrum. Yeah. Here you go. Ah, can I have So Spain currently sit 10th on the series. Poland, of it's course, the invitational one. side in their it's third fine. appearance. Yes, Move back. Move series back. Event. Go, go, go. Okay. Sorry. Crouch! Bye! Set! No, no. <laughs> Good shunt coming in from Poland, but it's still with Spain. And just a little pop pass, ever so slightly, to Fernandez de Corres. And Spain extend their lead. That's really cute play, that little ball back inside. That shows great awareness there. Look, all those Poland players you just saw flooded out to the left. They've got to follow Please, with the play. Stay connected to the rest of the team in the defensive line. There's a big gap there. It's well exposed. Really good running line. And her 17th World Series event. And Fernandez de Corres, captain of the side. The conversion Ten. unsuccessful from the young Claudia Pena. 15 0 as the Huda sounds here for half time. They'll have time for the kickoff. Chris Garlett couldn't reel that over. ball in, so they go out to the edge through Alga. She might have got a fingertip to it. In fact, she didn't. Move back. Good, strong leg drive shown by Alga, top try scorer for Spain this weekend. Line speed coming up from Poland. Trying to get in 
And steal that ball, but unsuccessful. So two on one again once more. Alga trying to draw him past a hop, skip and jump. Tried the goosey and the offload as well. Brilliant support play running off the shoulder. And Alga gets another. Gosh, Alga is on fire. Another try when you consider that Spain had only scored four tries all tournament coming into this game. It just shows they've really found their form in this one. Then. The big gallop in the air. Benya gives it in to Alga. Runs in for a hat trick in the first half. That's quite a showing. Oh, Alga. Conversion successful too. So 22 nil. Spain lead Poland in this ninth place semi final. Welcome back to the first ninth place semi-final in the women's division here in Toulouse. And it is Spain leading 22-0 over the invitational side, Poland. Poland playing in the white strip, Spain in the red, and that is not what the coach would have ordered to start the second half. Oh, nervy start, isn't it? Set-piece platform now for Spain. They love that. Just bobbling the ball forward was Fernandez de Cordes. So this will really be one of Poland's first attacking opportunities from a scrum. Yeah, it certainly will. Like we say, that Poland can attack. They've got some really exciting players. They've just been starved of possession all weekend. So interesting to see what they can do from this. Bind! Face play. Set! They are yet to get inside the Spanish half. What can they do here? Druzgala runs hard to the line. Marco. They're going to continue to go down that left-hand side. Pajcik looks for the pass, and it's not just knocked on. Again, just that miscommunication between the players. She went to go steal that ball, and instead she threw the pass up to her in a knock-on. Yeah, it's just knowing okay. players, reading yeah, players, and above all, communication. But it's only when you're gasping for your Six. breath, it, sometimes it can be really hard to okay. talk as well. Uh, ten red sets. Pass check. Time is Limping up, yeah. off the field. She's called for a substitution. So, Ilana Schuster will replace her. Feed the scrum, shift the ball into the middle of the field. A good right foot step, but the defense is up to the task. Through so just Gala. Again, trying to find some space on the edge, but Pamieta is there to meet her. 
They've got a knock-on advantage, and again, scrappy play from oh. both teams in this match. Nice on the bonus yeah, bonus. initially, Spain did really well to just bump off those defensive players using the good fend. But credit to Poland, they kept at them, flooded that situation, stopped any offload, and eventually the knock-on happened. Bind! Set! Schuster with her first touch of the ball in this game. This is better from Poland, trying to get the ball wide to Cole Day as their speedster goes hard in between two defenders, tries to commit them. Contesting at the ruck to us, Spain. Trying to make it difficult again. Standing a bit too deep for Poland. She decided to take it in herself. They spilled the ball over, so counter-attack time now for Spain. Almost through a gap was Galvo. This time they're going to find a hole in that defensive line and it's going to be no, Cristina no. Lopez. But here comes Cole Day. Advantage and not attacker. for the first time this weekend, she has <laughs> saved a try. The referee has caught a high tackle. Cole Day, take a bow. On the line. Calvo takes it quickly. They've got numbers out to this right edge. They just need to get it out there. But Cancerbrana steps in. Bamieta with the tackle, making it really difficult for themselves with Spain. Eventually, they crash over through Calvo. It was very good defense, though, coming in from Poland. From Kolde. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant chase back. She came from the opposing wing. Had loads of gas to burn as well. But unfortunately, it was deemed an infringement. High tackle gave Spain another opportunity to go again. And you could just tell the rest of the Poland team, they were quite fatigued, weren't looking the sharpest. There were no big dominant hits. But Spain converted, they showed their patience, played simple, got the points. Twenty-seven nil Spain lead. 21, win. They'll roll the subs as well. 21 Spain and Spain. on track for their first win of the tournament. Oh, Spain. We're not too far from Spain, so plenty of people across the border to come and support Spain. these women. Putting it high, uh, Spain. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick, and that's exactly what you want from your chasers. Aguirre. Onto the field, pops the pass inside to Calvo. And after scoring just seconds ago, she's back in over the white line. Confidence is high for this Spanish team now. Converting that momentum into more and more points. Oh, you've got to feel for Poland. It's been a long campaign for them. They've given it their all. But you can just tell these Spanish players are just used to playing these type of games they're used to the feeling of day two and they are making the most of that advantage <laughs> 38 nil the score here two minutes left to play the Spanish team Really starting to find their flow. Poland take this ball cleanly. Zawadzka. Good leg drive. Showing her power. Again, just going forward. That's exactly what they needed. She just sliced the defense open and bum it up. Well, they haven't given up in any sense of the word, have this Polish team, and very deserving is Pamieta of this try. Yeah, only the second try of the tournament for them, but that was badly needed. Yes, this game is done now, but for them going on, for them progressing, for them reviewing, to know they stayed in the fight, they took their opportunities when they could. Look at that. Brilliant fend-off, absolutely backs her pace. Grit, determination, and a positive attitude for this Polish team. As you said, Philippa, they won't get the win today, but there'll be plenty of things I look back at and be proud of. They go quickly, put the ball high, and Spain having 
contest with the sun in their eyes. They go down that short side, try and exploit some space. Playing the halfback where Poland, they'll go quickly once more to the Spanish. Going backwards, Step having five. to tidy up. Whipped. Ball is spilled away in the collision area. So it does have ball on the way of Poland, but they've knocked the ball on. And a flick offload away. And here comes Spain once more through Morales. Just powering away, thundering, strong run from Morales. That right arm Finn accelerating herself forward, and she will end this game with a brilliant individual try. Oh, she felt that run, didn't she? Last dying seconds of the game, and you choose to run half the length of the field. Ah, oh, but it's worth it. Good try in the end. Calde giving it everything there. Credit, brilliant defensive effort. It was fingertip stuff in the end. Looks again, she's it's not her player, but she's come from midfield position to come across, just couldn't get a grasp.